This hollow cedar tree houses flying squirrels. Inside, I know that there's two, there may be more. So I'm gonna stake out the territory for a while and see if I can observe any of their activity. The flying squirrels should come out the top of the tree and then jump over to this tree. That was their pattern in the past. Hopefully they'll keep it up. The first squirrel just came out of the treetop. It's a little timid and ran back into the nest. All right, maybe now he'll jump. Nope, not yet. Okay, this is it. Watch closely as the flying squirrel perches on the tree. It's so small and fast, it's difficult to film. Watch closely. Any second now. There it goes. It happened fast. We'll take another look, this time in slow motion. Luckily, there's two squirrels in the tree, so we'll try to get a better shot. That's a little better, but it's still so fast. Here again is a slow motion view. The flying squirrel stretches its legs and spreads a flap of skin that is used to glide through the air. We'll get a better shot when they fly again from higher up in the tree. We've got two squirrels in this tree now. While we're waiting for them to fly again, we'll talk about some facts of their life. They have a flap of skin on the sides of their bodies that attaches to the front and hind ankles. When they stretch out their legs, they extend the flap of skin. Flying squirrels can glide over large distances. Scientists say there's a 1 to 3 ratio of vertical feet to horizontal feet. That means that for one foot of vertical distance, the squirrel can fly 3 feet horizontally. If the squirrel jumped from a 100 foot tree, it could easily fly 300 feet. When landing, the squirrel lowers its flat tail and raises its paws, creating resistance much like an airplane. They steer themselves by tightening or loosening the flaps of skin on either side. We have two types of flying squirrels in North America. This is the southern flying squirrel. Although flying squirrels are small, they are voracious predators. They'll eat baby mice, voles, bird eggs, baby birds, carrion, as well as nuts, seeds, and berries. All right, the squirrel is about to glide, this time over a farther distance. Listen to my emotion as I witness the flight for the first time. Oh, jeez, there they go. Oh, my gosh. He's all the way up. I'm going to get him flying. There he goes. Wow. Did you see him? I know it's small and difficult to see but you can at least see what the squirrel looks like as it glides among the trees. No wonder they're so difficult to spot in the forest. Here's the other squirrel. This one's getting ready to make her flight. Slow motion helps with seeing the squirrel. I've seen them in flight and in the future I'll try to get closer footage as they glide through the air. We're going to take this bird feeder, put some sunflower seeds in, then put it up on our tree, leave it for the flying squirrels. <clears throat> so we'll be back at night, see if we can observe the nocturnal activity of the flying squirrels if they come to our feeding station.